You can add North Carolina to the growing list of teachers who aren't going to take it anymore. Already over 15,000 have signed up to attend the March for Students and Rally for Respect on Wednesday. In support of teachers, officials from the state's six largest districts have announced school closures, 37 districts so far since the recession. Ten years ago, per-pupil spending has not been restored in 29 states, North Carolina ranking among the worst. Mecklenburg teacher Justin Parmenter has been collecting pictures and stories from around the state. He's documented classes with so many children that some have to sit on the floor, other classes taking place in closets, and the teachers forced to stop class to attend a special medical needs because there's no nurse on duty. As expected, groups tied to the Koch brothers and Art Pope, the state's most notorious political donor, have been trying to smear teachers in advance of their rally. You know the drill. Teachers are greedy, ungrateful, grateful and they've already gotten a raise. But it's important for the public to remember that we didn't get into education for the money. We teach because we love North Carolina's children and we want to see them succeed. Unfortunately, our General Assembly's misplaced priorities not only create difficult working conditions for our teachers, they create unacceptable learning conditions for students that have lasting impacts on student behavior and achievement. You see, North Carolina is one of those states where billions of dollars in tax cuts have led to gaping holes in the budget. It. That's why teachers have to go online to beg for money so they can buy textbooks. Chemistry labs are so overcrowded, teachers fear for the safety of their children. And critical staffing shortfalls in student services have one nurse assigned an average of 2,315 students. The North Carolina Association of Educators has posted a timeline for the day's events on their website starting at 10 a.m. with a march from their headquarters at 700 Salisbury Street to the legislative building. The rally will begin at 3.30 p.m. in Bicentennial Plaza. You can find a link to their website included in the description box of this video. If you found this information helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.